सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम यू आर टू दिस न्यू वीडियो सो वी हैव कवर्ड अ लॉट ऑफ कॉन्सेप्ट इन आवर प्रीवियस वीडियोज ऑफ मॉड्यूल वन ओके सो द थ्री वीडियोज आर ऑलरेडी डन सो वी हैव कवर्ड मोस्ट ऑफ द कॉन्सेप्ट विच इज देयर इन द सिलेबस फॉर यू गाइज विद रेस्पेक्ट टू द एग्जाम पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू and whatever i've covered till now everything is very very important ones okay and i have already told you in the videos as well that which and all are the important ones and which should be appearing in the exam as well so if you have watched those videos it would be very useful for you guys so those who are new to this channel and those who are watching this for the first time i request you all to watch the previous videos okay of this subject and uh, continue watching all the videos in sequence okay in this playlist so we have covered a lot of concepts and uh, a few concepts are pending so that we are going to cover in a short amount of time so in this video we are going to discuss about sensors and actuators okay so under the sensors and actuators we have a few other important input output devices which would be coming in picture with respect to the sensors and actuators okay so the sensor would be coming in the input port okay where is we provide we it is used for the controlling purpose for example a difference between a sensor and actuator it could be telling is a sensor for example if you take an example of a push button switch okay it is a sensor if the button is pressed then at the output side either the buzzer is blown or the led bulb is blown okay so that is the actuator part okay that is the reaction provided by the actuator or the output side is controlled by the sensor okay this is one main difference between sensor and a actuator again so that is if when the push button is pressed if the led is not blown then we say that the uh, the interfacing is not done properly when the led is blown then we say that the result is accurate okay so that is the difference between a sensor and a actuator so let us see now sensor it is a transducer device which converts the energy from one form to another another for any measurement or controlling purpose okay sensors act as input device as i have already told you okay for example hall effect sensor which measures the distance between the cushion and magnet in the smart running shoes from adidas okay so this is one real time example actuator it is a form of a transducer device mechanical or electrical which converts the signal to corresponding physical action or motion it acts as the output device okay for example micro motor actuator which adjusts the position of the cushioning element in the smart running shoes from adidas so these are about sensors and actuators next we will see some of the very important and uh, any one of them would be definitely coming for the exams okay there are two to three important input output devices io devices okay the first one is optocoupler okay so let us see now what is this, this uh, optocoupler optocoupler is a solid state device uh, which is used to uh, isolate two parts of the circuit optocoupler combines an led and a phototransistor in a single housing package okay it uh, it combines of a you, you could see this block here led and a photo transistor in a single package okay inside a single box we have both the leds as well as the photo trans transistor and these are the interfacing between input and output okay so in electronic circuits optocoupler is used for suppressing interference in data communication circuit isolation high voltage separation simultaneous separation and intensification signals okay optocouplers can be used in either input circuits or in output circuits okay so this is one simple block i've already told you so here we have uh, one microcontroller with respect to that the interfacing part is uh, given here optocoupler in input and output circuit okay so this is the input interface where we have an led and a phototransistor and here at the output we have one more output interface where one we have a led and a phototransistor this the input of this led is given to the microcontroller that is 889c51 okay and when resistors are used to uh, control the flow of signals and uh, pass the accurate signals which required okay the vcc is the voltage supply and here at the output end it is given to the resistor and is given to the led part and the output port pin is given to the negative end of the led part and again it is given to the output of the phototransistor and this is the output interface getting okay so these two are called as optocouplers okay so these two the combination of led as well as photo transistors at the input and output part for interfacing part we call them as optocouplers okay 
so th this is the diagrams and the explanation you please make a note of it next we'll go through the communication interfaces Communication interface is essential for communicating with various subsystems of the embedded system and with the external world. Okay, so in, in this communication interface, again, we have uh, different uh, categories. Okay, the first one is called as device board level communication interface or onboard communication interface. Okay, so the embedded product is a combination of different types of components, chips or devices, which is arranged in a PCB that is printed circuit board. The communication channel which interconnects the various components within an embedded product is referred as device or board level communication interface that is onboard communication interface. Serial interfaces like I2C, SPI, UART, one wire and parallel bus interfaces are some of the examples of these onboard communication interfaces. Okay, So these things I2C, SPI, UART and all we are going to see in the later part of the video. Okay. You stay tuned for that as well. Next type of uh, uh, communication interface is product level or external communication interface. Okay. So this external communication interface is responsible for data transfer between the embedded system or other devices or modules. Okay. So you, we use some external communication interfaces. The These interfaces can either be wired media or wireless media which I already told you and it can be a serial or parallel interface. So infrared, Bluetooth, wireless LAN or Wi-Fi, radio frequency waves, GPRS are some examples for wireless communication interface and RS-232, uh, RS-432, USB, Ethernet cable, parallel ports and CF2 slot, HDIO, PCMCIA are some of the examples for wired interfaces. Okay, So these things are already done, discussed in the uh, first three videos you could uh, go through it okay 